Greetings, first grade friends. Today's book is called Splat the Cat. Here we go, by Rob Scotton. Splat the Cat. Ooh, these look like fun pictures. It was early in the morning and Splat was wide awake. Today was his first day of cat school and his tail wiggled wildly with worry. If I hide from the day, maybe it'll go away, he thought. It didn't go away. Time to get up, said his mom. Time to get dressed, said his mom. I don't have any clean socks, mom. Maybe I should go to school tomorrow instead, said Splat. You don't want to wear socks, said his mom. I'm having a bad hair day, mom. Maybe I should go to school tomorrow instead, said Splat. His mom combed his hair. Perfect, she said. And this is Fur Gloop. Don't forget your lunchbox, said his mom. I'll need a friend today, thought Splat. And he dropped his pet mouse, Seymour, into his lunchbox. Time to go, said his mom. The front door won't let me out, Mom. Look at him hanging on. The gate won't let me go of my fingers, Mom. The lamppost won't get out of my way, Mom. Mom! He's trying so hard not to have to leave the house. And we just want to leave the house, right? You can ride your bike if you like, Splat, said his mom. And they went, and it says jellyfish for sale, fish cakes for sale, white chocolate mice. So he did, but he didn't say a single word. And this says Cat Cafe menu, special fish fingers and cream. Welcome to cat school, said a big round cat. I'm Mrs. Wimpy Dimple, your teacher. Splat's mom gave him a hug. I'll be back soon, she said. You'll be fine. Everyone, this is Splat. Let's welcome him into our class, said Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. Hi, Splat. And they all welcomed him. Mrs. Wimpy Dimple began. Cats are amazing, she said. They're clever, cunning, and quick. Am I amazing too, asked Splat? Yes, you too, said Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. And on this picture, it says, Clever, cunning, quick. Cats climb trees, drink milk, and chase cat mice, she continued. Why do we chase mice, asked Splat. It's what we do, replied Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. Why, asked Splat, because? Why, 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 why? Mrs. Wimpy Dimple sighed. Mm -hmm. Lunchtime, she announced. Remember, he has that mouse in his pocket. Hmm. Splat opened his lunch pack. Mouse! The cats did what cats do. They're chasing him. Seymour hid behind a glass bottle, and when the cats saw his face through the glass, they screamed and ran away. Seymour did what all mice do. Stop, cried Splat. Splat! They didn't stop. See, by putting his face behind the glass, it made it look so much bigger that it scared the other cats away. Enough, Mrs. Wimpy Dimple said, and it ended. It's milk time. Hooray! But the door to the milk cupboard was stuck. No milk today, announced Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. Aww. Splat whispered into Seymour's ear. Seymour nodded, and then, a moment later, the door swung open. Yum! Mrs. Wimpy Dimple wrote again on the chalkboard. Cats don't chase mice. Hooray, cheered the class. Soon it was home time. Splat's mom returned and gave him a hug. I've got lots of friends. Cats don't chase mice. I'm amazing. So he had a great first day. 
It was early the next morning and Splat was wide awake. Today was his second day at cat school and his tail wiggled wildly with excitement. Do you guys remember when you were kind of scared to come to the first day, first, um, day of first grade? And now we all miss it, right? Bye, first grade friends.